Kenyans have a problem with 1,146 planes, but have no problem with 30,822 E's. Kenyans have a big problem with 6407A minuses, but have absolutely no problem with 167,758 D minuses. Hi everyone. When the 2022 KCSE results were released in January 2022, there was an immediate public uproar because apparently the students had passed too much. But was that the true position? Let us look at the results holistically and see what the numbers tell us because numbers have never told a lie. In this video, I shall not deal with the issues, allegations of cheating. There were 1,146 plain A's which was a paltry 0.13% of the total candidates. The total number of students with a C plus and above were 173,345. And this was just 19.62% of the 881,416 candidates that sat the 2022 KCSE exams. On the tail end, there were 30,822 candidates that scored grade E forming 3.49% of the candidature. But just like from the year 2016, the bulk of the students were in the D- category. With Listen to this. 167,758 candidates scoring a D-. Did you hear that? 167,758 candidates scoring a D-. This was about 19% of the 2022 KCC candidates. Simply put, the total number of students who got a C plus and above were 19%, while those that got a D minus were also 19%. This was actually an improvement from the year 2016, where 25% of the students in that year, a quarter of the students, got a D minus. Yet we can afford to have a parliamentary committee investigating why students passed too highly but no committee has ever discussed what can only be termed as mass failure of our high school students. Kenyans have a problem with 1,146 plain A's but have no problem with 30,822 E's. Kenyans have a big problem with 6407A minuses but have absolutely no problem with 167,758 D minuses. And don't tell me that the problem that Kenyans have is that of cheating. The problem that Kenyans have is that of we, black people. The black man hates prosperity. The black man hates advancements. The black man has an issue with good performance. We have a huge problem with excellence, especially if that excellence is coming from another black man a neighbor, a colleague. We don't like seeing advancements. We like mediocrity. We are comfortable when things go south, but completely uncomfortable when they go north. Our minds are accustomed and fine-tuned to like failure. We consider failure as the norm and are surprised by excellence. And because human beings don't like being surprised, we want to stick to failure. We want to cling on to mediocrity. It is for this reason why when someone prospers in a village, a town, or even in a family, they are immediately labeled as devil worshippers, illuminati, or wash wash guys. Failure has become the default settings for the black man. And so many genuinely wealthy people have got all these labels hanging on their shoulders. This is why in 2019 there was yet another public outcry when a mere 118 students were awarded PhD degrees at JKUAT. Comparisons were thrown around to show us what is normal, what is acceptable. It was said that between 2013 and 2017, the University of Eldoret only managed to produce 99 PhDs in various fields. 99 PhDs in five years is mediocrity. But that is what Kenyans are comfortable with. That's what the black man is comfortable with. Even individuals who have never gone beyond the gates of the universities were also up in arms. Hey, how do you like Zana? Kwani PhD ni jugu? There are several other examples that I can quote. 
but kindly allow me to stop there. It is however time for change in Kenya and Africa in general. Let us delete the mediocrity gene within our DNAs and embrace excellence. Learn to cheer excellence. Learn to celebrate achievements and appreciate advancements. Because if we are serious enough, then the commission that should have been formed already is that of investigating why about 25% of KCSC candidates get a D- and why only about 5% of masters and PhD students in this country graduate. I am one of them and I have highlighted my predicaments in this video. If on one extreme end we have got 30,822 students getting an E, then on the other extreme end we should equally be having about 30,000 students getting plain A's. According to me, we should not be having less than 10,000 students getting an A plane. And this is why I petitioned NEC to stop this mass failure program that they have been carrying out from the year 2016 and come out with what we call a normal curve. And do what is known. Do what is done around the world. Do what is standard. But of course they never listened to me. And they dished out yet another 167,000 D minuses. I don't know whether we have ever come to think about it that 167,000 students have gotten a D minus. 167,000. And Kenyans have no problem with that. Kenyans say nothing about that. Kenyans protest nothing about that. But wait until we have got 1,146 plain S and this country wants to come to a standstill. That we want all the operations to stop. We want this country to come to a screeching halt because of just 1,146 plain A's, a mere, a paltry 0.13%. This is unbelievable. This is uncalled for. Thank you so much. I'm out.